Hi everyone and welcome back to Rachel's Enchanting Cakes. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you just how easy it is to make this edible moss. Just look at how effective it actually is. You can then use this on the sides of your cake for a perfect wood bark realistic effect. As always everything you need to know in a simple step-by-step -step format. Let's make a start. You will need a bowl of caster sugar, 24 grams to be exact, and two eggs at room temperature. Simply add the eggs to the bowl of sugar and then whisk until this is lovely, light and fluffy. So this is what you're wanting it to look like. Now we need to add 60 grams of honey. I find if you warm the honey up first, it makes it nice and runny and you can apply it to the bowl so much easier. And then I use some gel food colouring before whisking this again. Keep on adding a small amount of food colouring until you get it exactly how you want it. We are now going to add 50 grams of self-raising flour and I use do this using a sieve and in that little pink jug I have exactly 10 grams of baking powder. Now you could use plain flour because obviously the baking powder is a rising agent and the self-raising flour also has the rising agent in because it's going to help itself rise but I found just to get an even lighter, fluffier, better type of moss. By using both of these together, it worked so much better. So if you just sieve these into your bowl and then you need to fold it in. Now make sure you're folding all of the flour, but be very, very gentle. We have spent all of that time beating this mixture. That is what adds the air. We've then got the self-raising flour and the baking powder together, but it's the air that creates all of those lovely bubbles that's going to give your moss-like effect so much better. So carefully fold this in, and then the next step is so simple, and we have completed edible moss. All you need to do now is get a microwavable container and add half of the cake batter to this and half of the cake batter to another. You then want to place this in the microwave on high for two minutes, just to make sure it's completely cooked. But watch the microwave as you do this. It's amazing at just how much it rises and how fluffy it actually becomes. Okay, so this has come directly out of the microwave and just been left to cool. I then just use a sharp knife to help take away the batter from the sides. Simply turn this upside down directly onto some baking paper and just manipulate the plastic slightly and it will just drop out. And this is what you will end up with. Just look how easy all of that was. Now, this does not have the texture of cake, which is why you're able to manipulate it, pull it apart into little segments, and it won't completely just deteriorate on you like a cake would. It has more like of a rubber kind of feeling. It's all edible. Obviously, you'd be applying it to fondant. You've seen the images at the beginning of this tutorial. That was just a bark impression mat. And then I've applied the moss directly onto it just to give you an idea of what you can achieve. Another really good tip. If you have some edible dusts that are slightly darker, you can actually brush the moss with some of that edible dust just to make it a little bit more effective. You can also make this in pinks and purples if you're doing a coral reef under the sea themed cake. That's another idea for you. So it's a very simple technique. It takes two minutes to create, literally in the microwave. And this is the results. I really do hope I've helped you all again today. 
thank you all for your amazing support. And I will be back soon with an awful lot more new, completely free content.